on the lower side. Building up all of that grit. Do like it. Feel happy about this because we had it in the top lane with the Aurelia in game one. Whoa, that's a big flash out from Doran who gets it onto Summon as well, but that's the flash follow. Pyoshi grabs that first blood from out of nowhere. Carrier flashing as well as on fleet. Flashes down towards the bottom side. He's in the sacrifice himself though as Deft collects that kill and Root taking so much of that charged up tower's damage. And Deft, remember, has teleport, so even if he does go back, We'll be able to collect this minion wave, but it looks like he's just happy to stay here. Definitely an advantage here for DRX. Yeah, I think it should be fine. Both of these bottom laners are relatively weak. They're going to go for it, though. All right, Def's going to flash. There's the flash forward from Gorilla. Peacemaker not going to connect as Gorilla can't get there for the last auto. Hawkshot going to land. The turret plates, at least, go over to Gorilla, who somehow kills Def. <laughs> not sure what happened there. That was very interesting. Maybe Pix went rogue and just murdered him as Root's going to get Shuriken to the face and DRX once again. Nice. This was a nice setup. Watch how Karius saves his Q on, until on, he's on. about oh, to uh, die. Yeah. As this was the dive we were expecting. As Deft is dead. So, still no flash here up in the top side and Kennen is level six. So, see he is looking, well, this is not how you take the trade, Doran. I, I don't know what that Baiting. was. Baiting. Baiting. Uh, yeah, well, Piosik is level five, so. <laughs> They're going to try to go ahead and three man it. Let Piosik do the tanking. Actually, Toby's going to tank. Yeah, Emperor's Divide goes wide entirely, but it doesn't seem to matter as Doran's going to get targeted down. Fate with the teleport gets himself in there. Who's going to win? If we're even at like 30 minutes, who wins? Uh, it's kind of hard to say because based on draft, I'd probably give it to side of Sandbox, but you know, it is DRX, so. Nice little dive there that we did uh -huh. see earlier on. The minion wave gets cleared very effectively uh -huh. by Summit, and he drags them as yeah, far under the, the, the turret the as possible okay, cool. as he's calling for the kill onto the cannon, which does eventually happen as three on three here. On Flick lying in wait for the counter gank, because now Deft is going to turn tail and run. Koshik with a decent stun. Great dark binding. Will connect. Koshik ults his way out of there. Deft at level six, doesn't have the arrow anymore, of course, is fate. Uh -oh. It's now his turn, but Chovy's here as well. Emperor's Divide pushes the bear back in. On Fleek will be taken down. As Ace in the hole comes in, Kerry's going to block it there for Deft, and it's a one for one. In the end, both junglers to be taken down. Chovy turns up, but a little bit late to this, to this party. Wild Growth connects, and all right, there's the Abduct. Gets the knock up as well as oh. Fate. Going to get completely obliterated, but is going to flash his way to safety. Doran with his slicing Maelstrom. Summit has been lit on fire. The culling comes in. Oh, the last tick oh. of the Ignite. Not enough, but the flash and the auto gives it to the cannon, and that's a solo kill. Uh, ticks of damage as possible before Summit could get out of the way. As uh, I've seen this movie before. This time, Carrier is going to be there to defend. No slicing Maelstrom available, but that is just a very dead oh, Graves. Man. Oh dear, that's 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 a whoopsie. Did they not see the Morgana? I mean, even then, it's like he's just kind of walking by the cannon. That's <laughs> just giving him so much free damage. Well, Kyoshik's got a black shield, and that means that uh, he's not going to be CC'd by that Emperor's Divide. Fate's going to fall down. Carrier flashes. He's having a real good day. Your boy on the bottom side of the map, Valdez, mm -hmm. certainly looking good. It's the culling. Not going to be stopped. The wild growth just waited for Gorilla toying with DRX right here. The ulti comes out. It's an angry bear. And Gorilla will be punished for his insubordination. Oh and another Dark Binding comes in. Just write it down. I think Kerry is getting the pog this yeah. time as the Chain Lash connects onto Summit. He was already slowed and he will be taken out. And DRX find another one of their miraculous mid games in the fight for Sandbox after they just try to save one person as here we go. Yeah, Doran just trying to stand his ground here and uh, decides that he's going to kill Summit. Going to do it. Solo kill 1v2, by the way, as the second one comes in. The bear collects that as Deft he is just getting turret plates. That's the most important thing. <laughs> what is this? TP behind the fight. <laughs> Don't worry. Level 10. Oh, there's the bind. Chovy does have an Empress Divide. He's going to nail that one. That's all too easy. And Carrier gets a well-deserved kill. It's Morgana and Cannon Man. Both Doran and Carrier are having 1v2, so maybe he just gets it automatically. And At now he's looking time. for another one. Uh, that's three solo kills in the one game. Yeah. I, well, at this time, at this point, it's like he's yeah, just right. rolling over. And also, it was kind of just Sandbox running into him, right? But it was it was still a great play. Every great. time. This does uh, way more damage. Oh, oh the interruption oh. was beautiful. <laughs> Chovy's going to land the Abduct. Has he switched on? 
I think he may have. It might be a little bit late to have any relevance in the series. Yeah. This it's one has uh, it's turned from a snowball into an avalanche at this point. I have no idea what Gorilla Goodbye, Gorilla. I have no idea. Sometimes you think you're safe underneath the turret, but there's a volley bear. And uh, he's going to ohm wreck this turret. Fate teleports towards it. I don't know whether he necessarily wants to as Jovi. Is, uh, looks like it's kind of in the bag here, Atlas. Uh, so here we go again. Yep, there's another pick underneath this turret. Oh my god, the one two punch is just revolting. Uh, Kennen's, uh, by the way, killed the Graves again. What? Doran is like <laughs> an actual, an entire team by himself right now as our Gorilla. He's going to turn up. Is it going to be enough? to kill the cannon. Salute alpha oh. top lane performances from Doran as well, and this is definitely a, uh, a big one. Take a look at this. Toby waits, and Fate actually fails it. So the stun doesn't come in oh, from Toby until really? after. Yeah, was Fate missing? <laughs> or did, was Toby, did he manage to put his body in front or something like that? Uh, the, I don't know. That, that looked really strange. Yeah, I, yeah, it was just a little bit of a whoopsie there. Damn it. It seemed and, like a uh, Toby super play, but actually it was uh, is the yellow bear this time around. That binding's going to connect. As joby has got another Empress Divide. We'll see how it uses it this time. As Shirley's going to cram her head into the top inhibitor turret and does a lot of damage to that also. I mean, Baron hasn't even spawned yet. <laughs> and I was about to bring it up. I'm like, DRX can go and do Baron whenever they want. Well, no, they can't. They need to wait another minute and a half. Before that's an option, as Gorilla is so squishy, and I think, oh no! Kerry doesn't find the puddle until a little bit too late as Yoshik dives on in and takes down the Lulu. On Fleek tries to keep himself alive as Pyoshik turns off the turret. He's not dying to it today as Summit's dead. And Doran is looking for Root, and uh, yeah, he's real, real dead. 20 minute game? Yeah, I mean, why is Doran, he's so tanky as well. He's level 14! <laughs> oh my god! As yeah. they're just tanking this turret, they don't care at all. Chovy's going to take down the top inhibitor one. And uh, yeah, I mean, this is something that should be happening at 35 minutes, not 19. And DRX not going to go overly aggressive. Summit, he has different things on his mind, though. His carrier going to get swept aside and destroyed. Yoshik's not going to be able to avenge his support at this point in time. Chovy, I believe, on vision. Zonflik is going to be there to meet him. Collateral damage picked up by Chovy. Chainlash not going to connect, oh. but that one will. It's a whole lot of damage. Wild Growth onto Root not going to be nearly enough as the Slashing Maelstrom is utterly terrifying out of this uber-fed cannon. And I mean, with another couple of kills, I think this is just the game as, yep, Summit is super dead. They're just farming them at this point. I mean, yeah. Nice little evolution, thumbs up again. Way. Um, Result. Kerry just really wants to blast Cone his way over. He's going to, <laughs> as he follows his Dark Binding. And <laughs> yeah, Bouncy Castle. <laughs> Kyoshik nails it that time. Able to save Carrier there for the minute. As over the wall goes Chovy. Uh, he's got his own wild growth. He's going to use it on himself, but does have to flash. As uh, the Lucian's dead again. Doran is once more diving turrets against two people as Cannon. As, uh, yeah, the Valdanalist is going to allocate that player of the game. He was adorable. Not, not a big fan of the uh, <laughs> of the top Lucian. Well, Root is this. real dead as there's the slicing Maelstrom. The bear took the first kill, so it can't be a Penta for Doran, but he deserves one. He's had a hell of a game. Fate sitting on his fountain wondering what the heck he's supposed to do at this point in time. He tried as hard as he could, but it didn't work out. He'll kill the Morgana as Deft is also very, very low, but I have a feeling that this game is well and truly over. Doran even escapes! That's gonna guarantee player of the game as the Nexus falls down at 2-0 for DRX up against Sandbox. And a gold lead that they did have, but still 27 minutes is no, uh, it's no long game.